Okay, so the last topic in Chapter 17 is sort of an add-in or throw-in topic talking about direct marketing. And, and I, think that's, I think that's sort of unusual because direct marketing is what we now refer to as, as the new marketing or in fact it's the, it, is, it really is where all of marketing is headed. It tends to be just a little throwaway in that particular chapter um, and, I, and I'm not sure that, uh, that that would be the way that I would do that. But let's talk a little bit about direct marketing. All right, direct marketing is a promotional method that involves presenting information about your company, product, or service to your target customers without the use of advertising middlemen. Uh, so it's it is targeted. It's a targeted form of adver, of marketing that repre, that presents information to potential interest to a customers. And that is, we're going to directly communicate with our our customers and try to get them to directly uh, communicate with us and order products from us. Now, so what's the fastest growing area of communications and marketing? Well, it's direct marketing, of course. Why? Well, because it's highly successful. Traditional direct marketing includes direct mail. You know, you sometimes like to refer to that as junk mail or, or surface mail or snail mail. Telemarketing, that's all those people who call you on your, on your um, um, landline or now call you on your... Um, um, cell phone. This is both inbound and outbound. Um, outbound telemarketing is when they call you. Inbound telemarketing is when you call someone um, to make an order. And of course, inbound telemarketing uh, happens a lot for catalogers. It also happens, you know, when you call your credit card company about an issue or something. Those things are called inbound telemarketing issues. Um, there is there were catalogs, brochures, and newsletters. Many of you get catalogs. Everything from uh, car enthusiast catalogs for, for car parts to sporting goods to uh, Victoria's Secrets catalogs to uh, a number of other catalogs and some of you still get those. Another direct marketing approach are the infomercials that you see on television. Uh, it's a very interesting topic. Uh, it turns out that that's a very lucrative area in marketing. There's direct TV sales, the Home and Shopping Network and QVC and then there's a number of things that are called direct advertising. So this would be an ad in a newspaper trying to sell Franklin Mint things in the Sunday in the Sunday Parade magazine. Those sorts of things. Those are all called direct advertising. Now these are the traditional direct marketing tools, and and if you look at those, you say, yeah, the, you know, they're okay, but they're not very exciting. Well, of course, the new direct marketing tools are all digital. So that includes database marketing, email marketing, website marketing, online merchant marketing, internet marketing, including website marketing, search engine marketing, behavioral targeting, social media marketing, and then mobile marketing, apps, advertising, and text. So almost all the stuff that we know about today from, uh, from a standpoint of the newest areas of, of marketing communications, they're all direct marketing areas. Um, and as a result, direct marketing has obviously got a, uh, a, got a new lease on life with many, many individuals finding themselves in the area of direct marketing in terms of digital and, and uh, in terms of digital marketing. Uh, a couple of little pieces of data here. Here's the advertising expenditures by medians. All right, and you'll notice that uh, that they have on here uh, internet marketing, and you'll see that internet marketing is growing much faster than the other areas of marketing. And when you take out the internet marketing and break it down, you'll see that that it's, it's done in a number of different ways. This is 2014 data. We're in 2017 today. The internet makes up a larger and larger percentage of the advertising medium. It's growing much faster than the other areas. And as a result, there are lots of uh, potential job opportunities in that area. Uh, here's another chart that has internet ad revenue showing you that the overall internet ad revenue um, uh, numbers are 17% uh, um, overall, 17% growth rate, um, and even 9% when you when you take out the mobile part of this. So, internet marketing without mobile is growing at 9%, but with mobile is growing at 17%. So, obviously, mobile is becoming a more and more important part of internet ad revenues. So, a little chart that has about about the company's top marketing challenges when it comes to IMC, and of course, it's generating traffic and leads, providing a return on investment for our marketing activities, securing budgets, managing the website, targeting content uh, to an international audience, hiring top talent, training our team, finding a, uh, an, an executive sponsor. 
Uh, and so you'll find that the biggest marketing challenges tend to be in the digital arena. Once again, suggesting that that's where the future of much of the um, of uh, marketing is headed. Direct marketing is the future of marketing. It is the new marketing, and it's probably the most exciting area of all of marketing to be involved in.